Well, the qualities of a metrosexual would probably have to be defined by how the person acts. More on the, I guess, upscale side, dresses more on the upscale side, tries to present themselves with a certain kind of presence that, 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 that most people would consider to be respectful. Uh, I guess people can just show, I guess you could say, the gay look. The child look like a pretty boy and try to, uh, you can tell the eyebrows are waxed. But with me, uh, it's more subtle. It's more, I guess, in a way, being classy and just keeping yourself together, keeping your nails short, keeping uh, your hands smooth, and just making sure that you look good. <laughs> I think a metrosexual is a man who takes care of himself, dresses nicer, but loves the ladies. Metrosexual, a relatively new term coined to describe urban-dwelling heterosexual men who are in touch with looking good, wearing sharp clothes, having a hip hairstyle, working out and eating right, being a proper gentleman, and above all else, exuding confidence. The metrosexual is um, someone in an urban setting, lots of money to spend, buying a lot of magazines. Basically, um, metrosexual is a big flaming narcissist. Recently I started going tanning regularly. Um, I was told that I look better when I'm a little bit darker. I actually do uh, go tanning, you know, probably once a week. I have gotten a manicure before a few times. Uh, facials I've gotten. I have gotten a full body massage. Oh, actually, guys have done me before, but I think it's flattering, even though I don't go that way, but, you know, uh, any little bit helps my ego, then I guess it's great. Narcissism is um, either um, the love for yourself or um, the love of what you want to be. He sees it in magazines and thinks he wants to be that image. My brand name clothes are J. Crew, Gap, Express for Men, Express, Banana Republic, H&M, H&M. All my pretty much almost all my shoes are bought from all of Diesel, Puma, nice kind of dress shoes. bad on my jogging, but every day I do generally do a different kind of workout routine. I do work out and jog re regularly. I try to go to the gym almost every day. Basically, advertisers created the metrosexual. They created the image of what young males want to be. The goal of masculinity changed. Um, because of advertisers, because they promoted an image of a more feminine man. Advertisers know that they should use homoeroticism because um, it attracts young males, whether they're straight or gay. Advertisers took the marketable things of gay culture and brought them to mainstream culture. Um, I generally always, you know, try to watch my weight. I usually try to balance, you know, my intake of, of protein and, and carbs for the day. I do diet from time to time. Uh, I just try to eat healthy now. A metrosexual commonly will use only the best hair care products, wears only snazzy threads, is particularly aware of his personal care, from spritzing on cologne to plucking off few stray hairs, to making sure his dress shirt is wrinkle free. A metrosexual's true essence is exposed when he's all done up for a night on the town. I'm a model, you know what I mean, and I do my little turn on the catwalk, yeah on the catwalk. There's a more liberal stance towards um, homosexuals in urban settings, um, generally urban 
settings are more liberal in any point of view. Of course, um, the metrosexual lives in an urban setting because that's where all the um, shops are, that's where all the beauty shops are, all the um, clubs where he goes to. Um, so the setting is there. If I'm out in public, I try to present myself the best that I can, and I feel that a lot of people really should do that. I think it's very important to look your best while you're out in public. Uh, it represents who you are. Uh, many people judge you on first impressions. I think if you look good as first impression, then uh, people view you better and judge you better than what they might if you didn't look so great. But I do think it's important to uh, look good in public because in the society we live in, people are judged uh, by their appearance. It's sad, but it's true. Being a metrosexual isn't merely a statement on where you shop or how intricate your grooming habits are. It's a state of mind. Respect for yourself, respect for others, and an uncanny dose of confidence. But loves the ladies, loves the ladies, loves the ladies. Well, for the most part, anyway. And the city.